In this section, we study the addition property of inequalities. For equalities, the addition property says that when you have two things that are equal, uh, if you add the same thing to both sides, uh, you still have uh, an equal statement. Okay. So for inequalities, when you have one side that's less than the other side, and you add the same thing to both sides, then you still have a true statement. This side is still less than the other side. Uh, and the same thing is true for subtraction. Uh, if you have one side that's less than the other side, and you subtract the same thing from both sides, then you still have a true statement. This side is still less than this side. Okay. Um, so, in this <coughs> inequality here, we're going to solve it as if this were an equal sign. We're going to uh, add 2 to both sides to, to get x is greater than 5. These two statements are equivalent statements. And so if we were to graph this on a number line, at the number 5, uh, we would draw an open dot because there's no equal sign involved here. And all the things that are greater than 5 are on this side of 5. So we would draw our arrow going to the right. Okay, here's another example. We have 3x minus 2 times the quantity x minus 4 is less than 5. So we're going to simplify this by multiplying through. We're going to distribute the, two, the negative 2 through these parentheses. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. So then we have 3x minus 2x plus 8 is less than 5. And we're going to simplify this side. 3x's minus 2x's is 1x, plus 8 is less than 5. Now I'm going to uh, add, excuse me, subtract 8 from each side to make this cancel so that I have x left over here. 5 minus 8 on the right side is negative 3. So we have x is less than negative 3. So this is our critical point. At negative 3 on the number line, we're going to draw an open dot because there's no equal sign involved. So we've got our open circle, and all the things that are less than negative 3 would be found to the left. All right, here's one more. We have 3 is greater than or equal to 4x minus 3x plus 3. We're going to start by simplifying the right side. 4x is minus 3x is 1x plus 3. And then we're going to get rid of our 3 by subtracting 3 from both sides. 3 minus 3 is 0 is greater than or equal to, x is what we have less here. And because it's customary to, to write your letter on the left side, we're going to swap places. When we swap places, we put our x over here and our 0 over here, and we have to flip our sign over. The equal sign stays. Okay. And so our final statement is x is less than or equal to 0. So 0 is our critical point. <clears throat> we're going to draw, because of this equal sign, we're going to draw a closed dot and all the things that are less than zero are to the left.